What are the differences between these two 25mm lenses? If you are in a market for a standard lens, you might want to watch this video because I will tell you the differences and why you should have a standard lens. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard. I am an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start talking about these two standard lenses from Olympus, remember that my channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer and also about Olympus gear. Please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. But let's start. A standard lens is something that every photographer who should have in their toolkit. And good thing about standard lenses is that every manufacturer has a very good budget options for standard lenses. And of course they also have a bit more expensive alternative to do that standard lens. And why a standard lens is a very good option for all around photography is that the way it sees the perspective is really close to a human eye. The proportions of the front and the back are quite similar. So it doesn't have too much distortion, it doesn't squeeze the perspective and that's why it's a very good lens. And actually the 50mm which is a, a full frame equivalent to 25mm in micro four thirds lenses was a kit lens back in the days when you got film cameras. Like the one M1 I have there, it has a 50mm lens attached and that was the kit lens back then when, 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 uh, zooms, when zoom lenses went that common. For myself, it is a go-to lens when I go out and shoot. I quite often take one of these uh, 25 millimeters and attach them to my camera. And it depends on the body, which one I, I like to have. And as you can see, these two options from Olympus, they are quite different sizes. As, as you know, the Pro lens is a lot bigger. And since we're talking about the size, let's go to the first point. Sometimes it's better to have a small and uh, let's say usable lens for for your everyday walks when you go out as a as a tourist in a, in a in when you're traveling for example having the body with a small fast lens is really a good thing this pro lens might be a bit too big for those moments but of course as you will see in this video there are places for this lens too but the size sometimes matters and the smaller is better. And there are several reasons why the Pro lens is bigger. The first one is that it's faster, so it needs to have a bigger front element, which makes it, of course, bigger. And then it has a bigger and actually a better focusing motor, which takes, of course, space compared to the M. Suico version of the, the 25mm f1.8 lens. And then the third thing, of course, is weather sealing. It has to be weather sealed because it's a pro line lens and that's why it's also a bit bigger. And that brings me to the second point, weather sealing and the build quality that goes with that. The pro lenses from Olympus are all weather sealed. Most M. Zuiko lenses are not. And that could be a decisive thing. But if you don't need weather seeing. You don't make images in a bad weather or when you're walking outside and it starts raining you can cover the camera. Then maybe weather sealing is not that important for you. But for many it is because it doesn't matter what the weather is you can use the pro version the 25 millimeter f 1.2 pro lens. And the reason to shoot in bad weather is that it's usually really interesting. You can get really interesting images when the weather is really bad. So that's why I personally value the weather ceiling really high. And then we come to the third point, the features. Yeah, lenses have features and I'm not talking about the image quality. That will come later. The pro lenses have more features than the standard Suiko lenses or M Suiko lenses. Pro lenses have LF and button that can be assigned to a feature. And what I've usually assigned it if I have it is focus peaking or magnify because I use quite a lot of manual focusing and focus peaking is really great help for getting the images really sharp. The second thing that most pro lenses have is the MF clutch which makes the manual focusing or, or switching to manual focus really easy. You just do this and 
you have a manual focus lens. So those things, of course, then the feature that I already talked, the weather ceiling is important, but those things are the most important things or, or most important features that differ from M Zuiko lenses versus M Zuiko Pro lenses. Of course, there are some exceptions, but that's the uh, basic differences between those lenses. And then number four, the technical specs. Both lenses have the same angle of view, 47 degrees. And here are the other specs. Do you have a standard lens? Yes or no? Please let me know in the comments down below. And you probably noticed from the specs that the 25mm f1.8, the M Zuiko lens, has a bit better closest focusing distance. It has 25 centimeters, and then the Pro version, the 25mm f1.2, has 30 centimeters. And that could be a decisive thing if you are considering getting a normal or standard lens, because if you are really into close up photography, then you should consider getting the 25mm f1.8 instead of the 25 f1.2 version. And the sixth thing, the speed of the autofocus. That's a really important thing, but of course it depends on what you are shooting. If you're just shooting landscapes or, or cityscapes or things that doesn't move, subject that doesn't move, then it's not really a big thing because then there's no problem focusing with either of these lenses. But of course, if you are doing really a uh, fast moving object, then this faster AF is of course a better thing. And the Pro version is a bit faster. So that could be a decisive thing if you are shooting a lot of fast moving subject. But as I said, if you're not, then the 25 millimeter F1.8 is good enough. There's no big difference then. Always when you're choosing lenses, remember, you need to think what you actually need, what you are making images of, and decide based on that. I think that's the wisest thing to do and not follow other people and say that you need a pro lens when you might not need it. And remember also that it's not only the lens that uh, affects the AF speed, it's also the body that you have. So if you have a newer body, let's say the EM1 lineup body, of course, then both lenses are faster. So th that also is something to consider. And then the seventh thing, image quality. I've used both of the lenses quite a lot and I have had never any problems with the image quality. Both image <laughs> images, both lenses can give you really sharp and crispy images. It's more about you and how you hold your camera and, and all that. So it's not always the lens if you, if you don't, are happy with the quality of your photographs. But there are two things that are a bit different. The first one is uh, how the bokeh looks. And the second thing is that with the f1.2 lens, you can use it uh, wide open and get really sharp uh, results. With the M Zuiko lens, the f1.8 version of the 25 millimeter Olympus lens, you need to stop down let's say stop, stop and a half to get the best result. And that's the biggest differences. And then we're talking about the bokeh. The difference isn't really huge, but you can see it. And with the pro lenses, pro, pro lineup lenses, the prime lenses have so-called feathered bokeh, which, which is really nice looking. And as you can see from these images, there is a slight difference. And remember always bokeh sharpness are somehow or somewhat, how do you say that? It is a matter of opinion anyways. So you might like the 25 mm f1.8 more and when I talk about the bokeh than the pro version. It's, it's a matter of opinion. So it's up to you which one you like. And then the eighth thing, the conclusion. Which one is better? Well, to find out which one is better, first we need to define what better means. If we're talking about image quality, build quality, look and feel, I would say the pro version is, is better lens by far. No problem with that. But if we're talking about the size and the 
the compactness of the system when where when you use the uh, 1.8 version of the 25 millimeter lens then the smaller lens is better and it's better for let's say that you are traveling and you go out and dinner uh, in the evening I want to take a camera with you and you might have the kit kit zoom and that is not fast enough so which one would be better I would say that this one would be better for that because it's small and compact it doesn't scream expensive gear but still you can get some pretty good results with it talking about better is always what's better for you I use them both uh, the 25 millimeter f1.2 pro version I use for professional work and if I drive somewhere and, and have the camera in the car and do not walk that much but when I'm traveling I rather take the smaller lens with me because it's smaller and as I said it doesn't scream expensive gear that's why it's really hard to define which is better but as I said if we're talking about the image quality then of course the 25 millimeter f1.2 pro lens is better and as I said earlier that do not get the pro lens just because somebody tells you that you need the pro lens decide for yourself and see what you actually need since the price difference is thousand euros slash dollars that could be the thing that decides which one because this is quite expensive the, I mean the pro lens this one is uh, well it is a bit overpriced I think a bit on the higher uh, level of the price it could be a bit bit less but it's not a bad price for the for the quality that you get with that so always remember that check out the price and don't break your bank because of you just need to have a pro lens but uh, by all means if you can afford it and have the spare cash just go ahead that's what I would do if, if I had to choose only one of them then I would probably take the pro lens if the if the price is not the the thing I haven't made a dedicated video about this lens but the, about the uh, f1.8 lens I did make well it's over that side you can watch it from there but hey thanks for watching and bye for now